Hey there, Pickens Chemists. So this is an intro video to your textbook. And you may be used from biology or maybe another class to coming into Schoology and scrolling down. And for biology, you may, would have been able to click on this link to get to your textbook. They don't have our chemistry textbook link here in Schoology. So what you actually have to do is you have to go to the launch pad. When you're on the launch pad, what you need to do is you need to click on this HRW, Holt McDougall online link on launch pad. When you click on that, it will sign you into their page. You might not see all these exact things. You should see student resources and student edition here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on student resources just so that you can see some of this other stuff. And then the textbook is within here as well. This drop down menu here gives you choices for chapters and you can go to say chapter one and you can go to the chapter opener. And when you click on go on here, it will bring up the textbook, okay? You can expand this. I'll show you in a second how you can zoom in and everything else. The other thing you can do here is you can click on student premium and under student premium, you can find a lot of resources that are available and if you want, and I'll, I'm actually gonna show this in class, but there are sometimes videos here, and I'm gonna show you guys this one quick little two minute video in class. There's other things that you can get. So if you're sort of more of an auditory person, you can listen to the summary in English. You can look for um, interactive reader pages, and I'm gonna be giving you guys that little soft notebook kind of thing. There might be animations or simulations that you can use. And so this is where you can find some of that kind of stuff. I'll also have handouts for you that you can make use of. If you just click on student edition here, then that really does just open up <clears throat> the ebook itself. And what you wanna notice is that there's a content here on the left side. And in fact, this is your menu where you can do most of your interactions with the textbook. Um, the arrows up here let you go between different sections. So, for instance, here is the cover of the textbook, and there is a question on tomorrow's activity about this. So make sure you know how to get here. And under the contents in general, you would click on these carrots to go back out of a chapter to see the chapter list. You can click on something like, say, introductory material to be able to see author and copyright. That isn't that important in itself, but when you click through with the next pages, you can see a bunch of the pages that would be in the front of the textbook. And the main ones that you're gonna be using for the activity in class tomorrow is the table of contents where you can see these section names and how many sections are here for each one of these things, okay? Notice that you've got page numbers here so anytime you see a page number within the table of contents or on any other sort of summary page, like this one here with feature articles, you can always type in that page number. So if you wanted to see about, um, that's a little small, maybe that's reflex 102, up here in the top middle, you would come up here and click here where that now has a yellow box. And when you type in the page number, you can then hit enter and it will take you to that page number, okay? Um, this right now is awfully small. So you can click over here under page view and you can zoom in and zoom out of the page, okay? Um, you don't get, that's annoying. Um, No, okay, now it centered it better. So here is this little interesting thing that we saw under that feature articles section in the beginning. And it's a why it matters connection for STEM. And it talks about fireflies and how fireflies are related to this particular main idea. I wanna bring you back to that main idea. So here we are in chapter four, okay. The other ways you can use this page view, in fact, you can do two pages side by side. When you're looking at two pages side by side, though, unfortunately, you cannot zoom in. You could 
however, also change it to a scrolling view, where as you move your scroll wheel on your mouse, you scroll down through the pages and you could change the magnification level for that. Um, there's no particular reason why I'm looking at chapter four now. That's just where I happen to be. What I want you to notice is that they give you a big idea here, big idea here on the chapter page. And when you look within a section, you will see main ideas, okay? And if you're doing your survey stuff, like you should be when you're reading to take notes, if you're supposed to be reading this section to take notes, then you wanna take note of these main ideas and perhaps ask a question about them. So what are the characteristics that light has that it makes it like a particle? Or what are the characteristics that light has that makes it like a wave? So main ideas. The other thing to notice is that you have key terms, which is really vocabulary, and that they underline those here, but that you can also click on these. So if you wanted to know what the definition of a photon was, you can click on that term and the definition will come up, okay? Um, you can also click here to go to the full glossary, which, oh, that's nice that it opens it in on a new page. So here's the full glossary. You would have to come over to page view to zoom in. It does not take you to the word, but you could click through until you got to photon. And after you click through and get to photon, you can see the definition here and it's the same one that came up when we clicked on the term. The nice thing though, is that it also gives you the Spanish word for this term and it gives you the definition in Spanish of the term. So if you need that for support, that's there. Um, and I think that's really everything to show you, at least for getting around in the textbook, the only other thing really to comment on is that if you wanted to take notes in your version of the textbook, you could. So any word that's not highlighted like vocabulary, you could highlight and maybe add a note to it, okay? So this list here, x-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwaves, radio waves, when you highlight that text, you can add a note and for instance, this note here might be these types of EM radiation are listed from high to low energy. And you could add that note into your notebook and you can save it. If you are taking notes like that with the text, then you can always click over here to find your notes from other pages. So let me just go to some other random page and see if I can't put a note down on here. And um, add a note. So normally in biochemistry, a substrate is the material being changed, but in this case, the term means it is a surface on which something is coated. And I can save that note. And then you can see here on my list of notes, the page numbers and the notes. And you can click on those, double click is what I just did there at least, and it will take you to the page number. If you single click, it still does the same thing. So you didn't have to double click. Um, you can also do search here. You could search for a term. So why not search for catalyst? And you could see all of the pages where the term catalyst appears. You can also click on uh, bookmarks if you have bookmarks. So if you wanted to bookmark this page, you can click on that and then that would show up in your list of bookmarks. 
You can also delete bookmarks just by clicking on the bookmark. You can delete notes. When you click on that to open it, then you have that choice to delete a note. If you typed something in that you didn't mean to, for instance, and then there's the more button down here on the menu, um, which gives you a little bit of help, a quick start guide, which you shouldn't really need um, because of this video. And if you were trying to print pages, and I'm not sure if there's a limit or not on how many pages you might be able to print. But this is how you use this. Um, if depending on how you choose your view, you will either have the scroll wheel to move between pages or you'll have the arrows here on the left and the right sides to move between pages. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Please ask questions and I'll see you in class tomorrow.